When you call 911 for help, you expect that it will arrive quickly. But for a wounded Springfield man, a mistake led to a dangerous delay. As you're about to hear, despite frantic calls for the ambulance, EMTs could not find the scene because they were sent to the wrong part of town. Chris Stewart investigates what happened in this report you'll only see on CBS3. Every Friday, it's replayed every Friday in my head. Um, sometimes throughout the week, it's, just, it's really fresh. Months later, Tanya Knighton's memories of the night her brother Tim was killed are still clear. But for the first responders dispatched to save his life, finding him was far from clear. Within minutes of the shooting on August 6th, someone made the call to Springfield's 911 dispatch center. 911, right where's your emergency? Uh, we need an ambulance right away to uh, 90 Oak Street. Someone just been shot. A few minutes later, another call. I, I, I don't know he's just laying on the floor. I don't know where he's uh, laying on the floor. 911. Uh, he's just laying on the floor. Hurry up, hurry up. Knighton was shot behind this apartment building on Oak Street. The Springfield Police Department's shot spotter system heard the gunshot and was able to pinpoint the location, so officers were here within just minutes. The ambulance would be a little slower. Electric Hi, it's Kitty. We're going to need you at 90 Oak Street for a victim with gunshot wounds in the orchard. Yeah. The ambulance was headed to Oak Street in Indian Orchard, but the shooting was six miles away on the Oak Street off state. As minutes passed, officers on scene called for the ambulance, which police call a 7 to get there faster. You gotta have that 7 step on it. Upper abdomen in the middle of the chest. Okay, they have been notified through the lights and siren and step on it. Then, 10 precious minutes after the first 911 call came in, the AMR dispatcher and the Springfield Police dispatcher realize the ambulance is on the wrong Oak Street. They're trying to find it. Is there any, any other intersection or anything? I mean, they're in the area, but for some reason they can't see you guys. Walnut and Oak? Um, we were told the orchard. Yeah, it is in the orchard. Okay, there's no cross of Walnut Street in the orchard. Ray, they're saying that they don't know where it is. She's telling me the orchard, but she's giving me Walnut Street as a cross. Okay, change of, it's in, um, it's in Springfield. It's in Springfield. Back on Oak Street, where a man lay dying, 12 minutes had passed without an ambulance. A second ambulance was dispatched to help Timothy Knighton, but the father of four was pronounced dead at Bay State. Springfield officials tell CBS3 the mistake was human error. The contributing factor, seven streets in Springfield which share the same name. 9-1, the signs according to your emergency. When the 911 system was enhanced to give dispatchers the location of the call, many towns and cities at the state's suggestion renamed the streets to eliminate duplicate or similar sounding names. Because that would provide some confusion when a call was made. Patricia Shaughnessy was Northampton's database coordinator when that city converted to E911. Like Springfield, Northampton has multiple duplicate streets, including three main streets. Shaughnessy's committee recommended renaming the duplicate streets. It would have been productive to have um, one main street. But the Northampton City Council decided not to rename, instead choosing to add more information to the address, which pops up during a 911 call, so dispatchers could see it was Main Street in Florence, not Main Street downtown. Springfield also refused to rename, but did add information to its address database, too. But as the Oak Street shooting proved, mistakes can still happen. Because of that incident, Springfield Police spokesman John Delaney says if there's any confusion over duplicate street names, help is sent to both locations. To solve it, if something comes in in regards to a call on Oak Street and there's a confusion, well, we'll dispatch two ambulances and two cruisers to both parts of the city just to make sure it's covered. That policy wasn't in effect the night Timothy Knighton died and an ambulance went to the wrong Oak Street. His sister believes renaming, no matter how complicated, is the only way to prevent this mistake from happening. <laughs> it's just I'm upset about this situation and it shouldn't happen ever because the simple fact is there being two streets so closely together but yet so far apart in an emergency is, is horrible. On Oak Street, Chris Stewart, CBS3, Springfield.